Yeah, hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath and uh, this video we will see the statistics subject uh, simple, simple, we will see in simple way, simple linear, linear regression, simple linear regression is nothing but y is equal to mx plus c, it is nothing but this equation, a relationship between a x value that is variables on x and also variables on the y axis. See here, y is equal to, is this y is nothing but y values. x is nothing but x values. So we have developed the equation that is called a simple linear regression. y is equal to mx plus c, very popular. So in your syllabus here, you can find the statistics syllabus, linear regression. Here you can see, this point we are going to be covered. So SLR, in short form, it is called a SLR, simple linear SLR describes the linear relationship, linear relationship between a predictor variable, also called as a independent variable, which is plotted on the x-axis and to the relation, relation to the y values what is the y value response variable dependent variable because it, it always depends upon x axis dependent variable which is plotted on the y axis so x axis y axis relationship you are describing it is called a s l r see here you can i draw a line see a positive relation is there some weak is there, but not exactly, all are not in a strike line. See, dots are positive correlation, okay, good correlation is there, but not exactly R is equal to one. Fitting of a data into a linear model, very standard equation, Y is equal to MX plus C. This is called, C is called as an intercept. We know very well, intercept. M is nothing but a slope. Right? C. C is the first we will see C. What is C? And the x axis, y axis, you know, this is x, uh, x axis value. Y is nothing but if you know the y and the remaining thing, you can find the x. If you know the x, y, you can also find. Okay? It is a y, y axis value. X is nothing but x axis value. C. Intercept is a point on the y axis through which the slope of slope of the line is passed see here intercept is 2 here because it is a y value y intercept intercept is a point on the y axis it is a 2 it is a intercept here 1 is the intercept because the line is passed here next slope what is m m we know very well m is nothing but y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. See here, this is a straight line I got. This is x-axis and y-axis. And how to guide the... See, this is a zero. As I am going towards here, x1, x2, x3, like that I got increasing. Here, if I go through here, y1, y2, y3, y4, like that I got. And I got a line here. And how I have to calculate the m? m is nothing but y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. That is called a slope. Slope is nothing but a M. M we have to keep in your equation. The difference is called as a Y2 minus Y1. See, here, if you draw a line like this, here I got a Y2 value. And I'll take any two points on the strike line. Here I'll take one point and here I'll take one point and I will draw a line. It is called a Y2 minus Y1 and this is called a x2 minus x1 here. This value, I will calculate the slope. Okay. And see, don't get confusion. I have a three curves here. A, B, C. Which is having a great slope, either A or C. I will check it now. See, first of all, I, draw it, I selected a two points. Then, see, all are same. X2 minus X1 is same. So, same I will take in the denominator. Same values. 
no change at all whereas uh, see since it is a slope varies y2 minus y1 is uh, varied see here y2 minus y1 same value i took there here medium value i took here also medium value here small value y2 minus y1 see here i will get a high slope a a is having a high slope low slope very low because small value divided by a big value here very big value divided by some small value so here a high value low value very low so c is flatter a is standing almost standing c is almost flat flat means zero slope standing means slope is good like that almost near to stand a a is having a highest slope value curve fitting is not easy job it's very difficult okay and see here some mister misunderstandings are there in the graph the curve should pass must pass the through the origin some students are arguing like that it must pass through the origin pass through the origin see it is not possible in all the cases that's why we have developed we considered the two here y is equal to mx slope x value y value plus c c is nothing but intercept when the curve is passed through the zero then this this becomes a zero then your equation uh, is a sharp turn y is equal to mx that's it this is also correct this is also correct keep in your mind because it is zero that's why we are not taking draw a line how to draw a line how to practice a line in the graph paper <clears throat> draw a line through the number of dots through which more than high in number and correlated well this point is completely wrong because this method neglects the remaining dots generally we are thinking that we have to draw a line to connect the more dots no the good method always consider all the dots in the graph either it the graph line either touches the dot or not is not important either the dots are considered by the line is important or not that is important see the following graph so how to draw now you just see that some are uh, points are up and down points are there these are the neglected see these dots i neglected because i considered only 1 2 3 4 5 6 dots i considered here these dots i neglected so don't neglect that such type of uh, dots even though it doesn't touches the dots the dots must be considered by the line how many points on the curve is not important how many points considered by the curve is important see here there is a two two quantitative variables x value y value variables is there it is not at all possible to draw a line straight line uh, by touching all the things but you have to consider all the thing see i draw a line here like this i draw only one dot is touched but it is perfectly fitted because i considered all the dots yeah see here only one point i touch here but see this value i take here this value i take here this value i take here see that okay see these these are called as a fitted values here because this line this point i took here no to draw a line that's why it is called a fitted values the distance between this green line is called as a residuals keep in your mind what is the difference between residuals and fitted values fitted values means not obtained value these are the obtained values see my cursor these are the obtained values and what are the lines i considered here these are the fitted values how to fit a data to a linear model the ordinal least square method is there it is one of the important method yeah, uh, this is the meaning overall meaning of the okay oils method a good line is one that minimizes the sum of the squared differences between the points on the line here we can see the here four dots is there pink dots 1 2 3 4 
three, four. Four are there, no total. See, I, two lines are there. One line is here. See here, one one line is here. Another line I draw like this for the same dots. One, two, three, four dots are there. Okay, two lines I draw. Which line is perfectly fit? Either this line, navy blue is, or light blue. That's why I followed the sum least square. See, sum of the squared differences. First, you see the blue line. Two minus one square. Where is a two? So here point is there on the two. But which value I took? One value I took because blue line. No, I am following. So two minus one. This is the value. Two minus one square. Next, one dot is there here. The number is four. But when I draw a curve on this, this line fitted value I took as a two. So four minus two. This is a observed value, fitted value. Now one point five. This is observed value. What I took here is a three. That's why one minus three whole square. Next is this is a three point two. I took four. Six point eight nine. I got this is the least squares. All squares I am taking. See here, square, square. Sum I am making a sum. Sum of square differences for this line. You take observed value minus fitted value. Observed value, fitted value. I got three point nine nine, which is best means this is best. Least square method. That's why this is called a least square method. This line fits best when compared to this line. The smaller the sum of the square differences, the better the fit of the line of the data. Variability. Now you will see the variability versus a straight line. If there is no variability, easy to draw. If there is moderate variability. It is somewhat little difficult to do, and high variability more difficult. Now we will see with pictorial diagram. See, no variability. All are in a straight line. Very easy to draw. See how magic. Somewhat uh, variability, moderate variability is there. So little difficult. Uh, I have to draw how how like this, like this, like that, and this is like this. Ah, uh, where how? Okay, high variability, more difficult. Okay, that is called a variability data. See, these dots are there. How you draw? Either like this we draw, no, not possible. Or shall I draw uh, these two? Or these two? No. Perfect is this one. No dot is touched, but all dots are considered by the curve. Weightage is given for all the dots. See, this is also five dots is there here, which is right. This is right. It is somewhat closer because three dots are there, no? So it has to move little bit. Whereas uh, here, see here, see this difference between these two. Somewhat closer because three dots are there. Yeah. Dependent variable, independent variable. See this one. See, I draw a two line. Now what I do? Upper values and lower values I consider. See this difference is equal to this. So balanced, nullified. This difference, this difference, nullified. Nullified. Again nullified. Nullified. Okay, all weightage is there, perfectly drawn. Yeah, and where we are using means uh, in pharmacy field we are applying SLR in various. Uh, we are describing a relationship between the two variables like here concentration versus absorbance, and concentration absorbance in unknown also we can be determined easily. See, I got a standard curve for unknown. Uh, the lecturer has given the unknown. Uh, with the help of observance, I determine what is the concentration like this. And also in pharmacology, also dose response curves. These uh, techniques we are using. And stability study, uh, determination of shelf life, expiry date of uh, drugs, arrhenius theory, especially. We are using accelerated stability studying. And uh, see these lines, we are studying this. 
and in pharmacokinetic data absorbance distribution metabolism kinetics and all okay thank you uh, correlatively verse uh, my correlation with you is one okay thank you